to cause that. Now, one of the things I've noticed is that the Holy War stuff is activated a lot sooner. Um, like, the Jihads start pretty much immediately. Oh, I win. So, okay, I've got a temple here. Let's create a new vassal. We can usurp the High Chieftain of Sorbia. Which I don't really want to do. Since he's not doing anything, I'm not going to go raiding. Okay, that that's bad. Um, <clears throat> we're pretty much boned. What is this war about? It's clearly about um, Sorbia. I haven't gotten the prestige to buy a, a title. To buy a, a thing, I should say. <clears throat> 4,300. I'm holding shift here. Or control, rather. 390, 913. I'm basically screwed here. I'll lose my son's province and the province I just gained. And your vassals are really stupid. So sometimes they don't even do things properly. Come on, Brunswick. Get over here. Okay, he's coming. Let's go to Brandenburg, so he'll have to cross a big river to get to us. This is our real, really our only chance here. I'm probably got us free dudes. <clears throat> okay. Hey, Toki Wartooth up there is happy with us. That's the king of uh, Denmark. Awesome! My steward, Goody Ethelwad. That's not my steward, is he? No. Tells me that efforts are increasing religious fervor among peoples to mate with great success. A small army of zealots have converged at Zerpst, ready to serve me, and I simply need to attack some suitable infidel before my new recruits wander off in disgust. Have I. Got a deal for you, sir. Apparently, they put my king in charge. I should attack there. And there we go. That is how you win. You you go to Brandenburg and hide across the river. Yes. <laughs> and this is why I was raising relations with him. Now I don't necessarily want to make this my main thing. So I'll probably uh, just make this a short video. This is how you. This is how you. You have to beat France all the time. He'll attack you every time he's able to, and uh, you basically just want to get a, as much prestige as you can get. And um, basically, one of the things that I, I don't want to do is lose this actually really good start. Um, 
So every second. Oh. This is actually a terrible plan. We'll stay here. That's bad. And I do outnumber them quite a bit. What are you doing? At the very least, I don't want to cross a river like that. Still got Wolframar. Okay, um... One of the things I want to do is I want to change the religion and stuff here. See, he's dying. He's losing a lot through uh, attrition. So if we can keep him running around uh, in my lands, then he'll just lose dudes, lose dudes, lose dudes the whole time. Uh, I've kind of got to do this, I think. I don't want to. I can go around. This is this is probably a better idea. Go here. Rather than oh, there's uh there's that guy. Let's go kill this guy. Oh shit. Oh, the whole guy the whole thing has joined. Okay. We've got to get around here. Let's let's go across the river. We have to get here before the the hammer falls. Oh no, I'm a craven. Okay, we win. No, Scaland. Now, if I get a white piece, if I can get a white piece out of this, that that'd be just as good as anything else. That's actually okay, because he's going to lose a lot of men to that battle. Mr. Wartooth is helping us out a lot. I'm content to let them just walk around over here. It's fine. Wiped them out. Wiped them out. But if I can beat them to Brandenburg, which I will, then I don't really have any problems here. I, ke I keep calling him Toki Wartooth. <laughs> His name is Heralder Wartooth. But he's leaving. You're terrible! No! That sucks. That's the danger of getting married. You know what? I'm gonna go kill this guy. Yeah, that's right, you run! AI's a big cheater, he shouldn't even be able to see this. I can walk around freely in my land, so I'm not really worried about that. And some more Francemans. Cool. So I'm winning handily because of oh, you're going that way? Okay. Don't know where you're going, but it's not the right way. Ah, uh, I think he's he's got my number here. As far as what I what I need to be doing, 
Hmm. This isn't actually part of the war. I'll let him take attrition there for a while. And if this guy leaves, then I can go somewhere else. Yeah. He's an idiot. They don't like standing around in pagan lands because it's a very bad idea. I've got a ticking war score, I believe. And the only. The, all the dangerous people to me are either in the war with me in Scaland or already at war. If only I had some better commanders that I could put on this flank. The nobles are too un autonomous to accept being replaced. I do have twice their number. What kind of terrain is this? Planes. Uh, what? They just lost a bunch of guys. Oh. Oh, I see. Hmm. Focus on the flank or master flat terrain. Flat terrain's kind of bad. Yeah, actually, this is... Most of our land is flat. Flat, flat, flat. Focus on the flank. Our guy's kind of terrible. We'll take the flat terrain bonus. Yeah, we're even worse now that we've got uh, Craven. We're definitely not going to convert to their religion. Uh, we can actually stay here and siege this. Since I don't see any mans around, and I think he's kind of a little bit punch drunk at the moment. He's only got 2,000 guys. The total levy doesn't matter, it's the current levy. Lombardy has probably got some more dudes. He's got barely anything. We've got this by the ass! Unfortunately, we don't take the hideous attrition that uh, the other guys do when they come in. It's really bad now. <laughs> like, horrible. Oh, man. Are you... Oh, no. Great Poland. That's unfortunate. I'm going to have to grab these guys as soon as I can. Now, the other option here is to run, to, to form this, and basically get yourself to be Pomerania instead of Saxony. Okay, whatever, dude. I don't think this is a good idea. I don't know what your problem is, bro. And these guys declared war on Partnerania because of that. Hang on, I'll be back. Get out of my face. I'll just let those other guys win and beat them. Hey guys, you taking attrition? Is that fun? I'm just gonna stand here in Brandenburg. Let's just let you walk around in circles for a while. If I can get uh, enforced demands, I get a bunch of uh not that actually not not actually that much. I do get some money and some piety. I, I get some piety, prestige, and money. I'm pretty money motivated right now. We only need to win a few more battles. Hello, France. It's not actually that's not actually enough to start taking attrition. And yeah, this is the rest of France's troops. What you doing?
that's enough guys that I am very content to let them attrit themselves down. Yeah, look at them. Look at them taking that many losses. Let's go after him. No, you stay there. I'll kill this then. I kept the siege though. I'm pretty sure I can take this. Yeah. You're done, France! You're done! This is basically too good a start to really want me to do it. 97%. Like, it seems rather dire at the beginning, but if you can do this, then. Yeah, James over, France. Boom. Get out of my shit. Now, we're still at war with these guys, so let's go kill them. Since they still have these free dudes. And we're pagans, so whatever. Hey. Actually, let's attack these guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of stupid, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> I, I need to take advantage of my extra dudes. Oh. That's no good. Now they'll spread out a little bit. Um. How much is the thing here? Hmm. Hello, the peasants. What are you doing today? A little bit tougher than I was expecting. Apparently, I got flanker, even though I didn't want it, but whatever. Out of my face. Peasants. I got a lot of cavalry. Yeah, give me that. So this is the same guy. So, I... I can't, uh... Didn't beat them. They're in horses.
Hey, thanks. Fall of the Evars. The Evar Kaganate was established in Europe in 567, after the Avars had migrated from the Carpath into the Carpathian Basin from the east. They crushed the Gepids and allied with the Lombards to form a strong realm in the area. For long periods, they alternated between conflict and truce with the Eastern Roman Empire and had close dealings with the Lombard kings. Now, however, this once pelden realm has fallen. The area is no longer ruled by an Avar dynasty and shall once again be known by the ancient name of Pannonia. Sic transit gloria mundi! Okay. You go to jail. You don't have any money. I'm kidding you. Speaking of money, I have a lot of money. So, um, hmm. I was planning on only making this like a half an hour or something. But uh, I've gone a little bit longer than that. Um, I'm gonna leave it here and let you guys decide whether I should keep playing Saxony or not. The fact that West Francia is giga huge now is not necessarily that big a deal. They get distracted a lot, and now that I have uh, more prestige and I can get more prestige, I'm not necessarily too worried about it. Um, so let me know if you want me to play somebody harder than this, or keep doing this. Um, obviously the, the war in Pomerania is largely a foregone conclusion, um, as you can see. It's, the problem is, is that they're, um, I'll, I'll just beat this guy, um, and then I'll declare on him. Since truces are only one, or the truces are only uh, one way, and uh, I'll just upload this as one big video. So it could be like 45 minutes or something like that. Okay, so uh, I will see you next time on Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. Let me know whether you want me to keep doing this one or not.